Jimidism. Well, hello and welcome to Jimidism. And you might be wondering, what am I doing now? And uh, why would I build something larger than the Draconia? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. I don't know if you have seen our Patreon launch video uh, that people that want to support the channel can be commanding officers in the army of Jimonism. And if you want to do that, you should absolutely check out the video. And if you don't want to do that, you should check out the video anyways, because I have some really cool green screen effects, according to me at least, uh, in that video. So uh, do check it out, because um, I worked out some pretty cool... Um, thematic or ad hoc content as uh, cadet shark uh, would say but in any case i've launched that and some people are indeed supporting us already uh, as commanding officers in the army of jimidism and we even have one person that is our top level patreon i didn't expect that but it helps out the channel really 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 much and that's a fantastic. So let me present to you Admiral LCG Canyon, also known as Wani Ryujin. And um, as an Admiral level supporter, um, I would normally build some kind of uh, battle fleet, like several different ships that can fit together into like a battle fleet. But what LCG Canyon, what L Admiral LCG Canyon would instead want is actually a really 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 big ship like beyond huge because the draconia at like 1.8 million i think that's pretty huge like that's a huge ship uh, at least with like my hardware that's a, that's a huge ship um but but he wanted something that's like beyond huge so we're going to do a really enormous battle carrier so a super battle carrier and if you don't know that's basically some kind of combination between a battleship and a uh, well carrier so it will be a carrier that has um, big guns and some nice drones so we're going to see and figure out how big ship we're going to make and i will be trying to aim for around like 500 meters in length this is the enormous size of the main hull i've ended up with you can see it's like a really 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 big brick here a really big flat surface um, we have it in metal here and wood so we have floaty compartments inside of here and in each of these we have uh, well, pumps to pump out the air and they're just basically the main, like the, the largest size they can be um, to host one of these guys. So that's pretty cool. You can see and we smoothen it out like that and we kind of have a little base structure here. So I will build some more on this and come back, but this is the shape of the main hull. And then we of course will have a, a, like protruding uh, flight decks on each side as well so it will be much wider than this in actuality right so we have made some beautiful sides to the ship here just a little bit to get started and i've replaced the metal at the bottom with um, alloy just to make it a little bit extra floaty so the deck below here um, the alloy and the wood that's basically a spacing compartment outside of this uh, compartment um, will of course have more internal armor and stuff like that so we're not susceptible to torpedoes like that but this could be seen as floating compartments combined with spaced armor uh, combined with some ammo storages spread out like this so we have some base ammo capacity um, spread out that don't need to be protected too much we also got some turning thrusters at the side here um, and some pitch control as well as god this thing is huge uh, as well as some three meters um, roll control there just some basic stability things and i decided to go with alloy here just to make it a little bit more floaty 
by nature. Uh, and then we don't need to spend as much as uh, having like a lot of wood because I don't want this to, do, be, to be too much wood spamming. Uh, because we want to keep the block count a little bit lower and to keep it a little bit more dense than uh, the Draconia. Uh, however, the main armor will of course be metal because we want it to be some decent armor. And the outer hull of the armor is like basically one layer of metal backed by one layer of stone. And we have some integrated EMP surge protectors along the hull here so that we can suck up some dangerous, dangerous uh, EMP stuff. Very nice. And here we will of course protect the main propellers here. Um, like we did on the Draconia and as well as uh, Setup did for his battleship that uh, faced the Draconia. So you probably did see that. In any case, let me build some more. Uh, let me just tell you that this is the largest project I have ever done. This is a really, really, really huge build. So do understand this will be a serious just as building a, a battleship was. Um, and I will do it a little bit more efficiently and uh, basically compact than the building a battleship because I think that makes better content. Um, kind of changed my mind about that a little bit. So we'll try and make it a little bit more compact like that. That's the plan. Um, but it will still be like a long series because this will take a long time to build because it's going to be the largest thing I ever made in from the depth so far. So hopefully LCG Canyon will be happy and we are of course uh, in contact with him at the AOG officers board in the discord and uh, private chat if necessary. So what did I do now? Well, I decided to have one layer of internal wood like this just to um, act as spall lining. So if you don't know what that is, if we shoot hash shells or something like that, um, if we have some, if we back up with some material that doesn't have so much AP value, then we get less dangerous fragments. So we are having wood as a spore liner here uh, and I think that is probably a smart idea to have. We also go, we also get some more natural floatiness and um, we go, we get really much HP for not too many, well, materials. And we have it inside the hard shell here uh, so the wood won't get blown up too quickly. But anyways, I wanted to have a spore liner because that's probably wise, because yeah, it is. I have been spending too much time on uh, details here, which I always do. That's my whole mark. Um, so here you can see I've added a little front piece thing to this uh, battleship to make a more interesting uh, bow of the ship. And we're also gonna have this kind of arc going up here to like the deck and stuff like that. So hopefully that will look pretty rad. In any case, uh, I've been adding some more functional stuff as well. This is like some spaced armor internally like this. Um, that holds the AI core. So we have kind of a little ring here that protects the inside. And inside of this, we have the AI and the AI stands on uh, well metal but it is insulated with one layer of rubber internally so if we remove this you can see we have uh, rubber here and inside here we have the main AI compartment um, with some uh, well secondary AI uh, main AI laser AI even though I'm not sure we're gonna have lasers actually, but anyways, three AIs, um, missile for sieves and uh, a main missile computer to control missiles too. So it's all sorts of good things here as well as some um, ACBs and uh, yeah, pretty nice. A little setup, uh, a little AI thing, very compact. And since if we get shot, I uh, like EMP will probably come from the side here. Uh, and it can activate and gets absorbed in these. And uh, then we have rubber here to make it instead probably like go around in case it really wants to go there. 
yeah, so it should be pretty safe and pretty pretty well set up. Inside of here we have some fuel engines and we also have batteries which are protected with a layer of rubber. Uh, and we're up with uh, we're up to 400,000 materials, so pretty high. I also did another thing and that is a steam engine. Yay. We have a beast of a steam engineer. This is this is pretty like insane. Um, let me show you. It produces 200,000 material uh, energy, 200,000 energy, and I think that will be indeed enough. We have 4 million um, energy stored. Um, LCG said that he would like to have uh, uh, he would like to have rail guns and stuff like that. So that's why we have uh, already so much battery storage, even though we didn't, don't have anything to use it for. And to charge that up. We have two large turbines here, as you can see, uh, turbine generator combined with two large generators at the main engine here. And the engine is of course connected up with the largest propeller there is, seven meter large propeller. It can produce us with almost 200,000 thrust if we want to. And we made a little insulated protected area here with wood. So uh, again, spore liner. Um, we set that up on some heavy armor to make it not fall off too easily. And this, uh, this little compartment, which we protect the engine in, is double spaced layer of metal. Uh, and some spore lining inside of there uh, that is also supposed to kind of look cool because I want it to be I basically want this I want this I want us to be able to walk into this area uh, I want to make this ship a little bit walkable uh, so that that's another goal uh, not something LCG Canyon wanted but something that uh, another thing I, I set up for me and inside here we have batteries um, insulated in rubber and stone. So some pretty good armoring setup there, I hope. Here I am on the ground, how, how strange is that? So um, if we just a second, here you can see this propeller is barely touching the water, but we're still moving with like nine meters per second. So I intend to make this pretty quick if we can, uh, if we can do so. We shall see, however. In any case, let us continue and build some more. All right, so I have begun working on a lamp system. Um, yeah, so here we have a lamp system, which is, it requires 25,000 power. So I think it's a pretty powerful lamp system. It uses mostly pumps uh, because pumps are the thing that uh, produces, you know, strong lamps. So it can be powerful all along. Um, it has some, some heavy armor going on like there from the sides. Uh, it is of course encased in rubber to be EMP insulated because that is quite important indeed. And um, yeah, basically like that. And here we can see the AI compartment I built before. I added some more batteries inside of here. So we're up to like 4 million batteries or 4 million power. I added uh, ERA armor inside of this uh, thing in case somebody shoots uh, like um, armor piercing high explosive shell it should be negated when we have it like this and we added some extra era in front of the core here just in case uh, because I think the damaging shots will most usually come from the side um, and then we really protected this compartment here uh, this compartment will probably be underwater when we have uh, built a little bit more on the ship but but right now it's so light it doesn't sink down very much because we haven't added like uh the wells with heavy armor for the turrets and stuff like that but in any case 
Uh, what I have done here is we have some sp we have some um, uh, well, what is what are these called? These are wedges. Yeah, uh, we ha we have wedges all around it, so that whatever APS shell comes in comes in at an extreme angle. And of course, it has to go through the outer uh, protection layer. It's not very thick like that. Uh, around this area, which is a little bit sensitive, I changed the stone with alloy just to get a little bit more armor class bonus. And when it goes through that, bonk, it gets to a plick, uh, which might remove some, uh, like, if we have a heat shell coming in here, they will spawn in this gap and the heat shells uh, will, uh, most of them will get absorbed by this applic and it might get through and a real shell will get through and it doesn't matter too much because then they will meet uh, with these four meter wedges and the damage will be so small in terms of armor piercing and then they will just go into this like section here and it should be really um, Miti uh, like the damage should really be like mitigated that's the thought anyways and that is kind of the ai core setup and i think that perhaps we don't need to walk into the ai compartment because that's so not cool not funny uh, i do still want to make the engine compartment like walkable but whatever i did add some uh, like what, what, what are these called even uh, ducts. Uh, I added the 7 meter wood duct here uh, just because I wanted to like if a torpedo really comes in here and goes for the propeller um, it will explode a little bit away from the propeller. It's not very likely but it's very cheap or not very cheap but it's like or it is very cheap to just have like one layer there. And I did set up this huge rudder here which is quite protected uh, but provides us with some turning capabilities too. So that is what we have been doing so far. And as you might imagine, or as I already told you several times, this is a huge project. Uh, it will take a long time to finish this thing. And uh, well, I basically build, been building for a day on this thing. Uh, so we will be continuing in the next episode at this super battle carrier so well thanks a lot to admiral lcg canyon because uh, this build is for him and uh, i hope you will follow us for this little building series with a little bit more compact format of building a super battleship carrier in any case hope you enjoyed this is jimmy we're signing out <laughs>